tonight on Rampage. And there you see the 49th victory and zero losses in the career. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. And welcome to Afternoons to Life. So I ain't get a chance to do this video uh, earlier than now. I usually don't post this late, but... Y'all know I got you on the J. Cargill. When, when J. Cargill's in action, I'm, I'm definitely going to report it here. So she had a tag team match with Layla Gray against the uh, um, against the Vanity Twins, Jada and Jordan. And between them and like the Renegade Twins, I hope AEW says both both uh, twins uh, set of twins one day. It'd be I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, I love the Renegade Twins though, but the Vanity Twins they're pretty good too. They didn't really get a chance to showcase a lot of offense in this one. Layla Gray pretty much had the match under control. And then Cargill, <laughs> Cargill wanted to finish it off after, uh, you know, Gray was getting her, her offense in. And, uh, you know, she hit, uh, she was able to hit the Jaded for the win. And they won in a little bit over three minutes. Uh, you thought it would have only been like a two-minute match, to be honest with you. <laughs> but uh, Jay goes 49-0, and guys. So she is 49-0. and one win away from 50 and 0. That means we don't have to wait all the way to Revolution. She's probably going to face somebody with it in the next couple of weeks. And I think it's Red Velvet. I think Red Velvet will be her 50th opponent. And look, it is going to be interesting to see what Tony Khan does here. Is he going to allow Jay to, to, to get past 50 and 0? Or it, uh, does the bus stop here and she loses her first match? Now, you have a good tight end story to make Rev. This is a good way to really prop up Rev Velvet if you give her the victory. But he's also got a chance to make Jay 100 and 0, too. Like, or get close to 100 and 0, make her 99 and 0, and then lose on the 100th match. Like, he's got a chance to really build somebody up, you know, going into that match there. We'll see what he does, man. I think anything can happen. But let's see what he does. I think Jay, I think Jay gets the 50 and 0, though. I don't think it ends just yet. I I know they had the building storyline with Red Velvet, but y'all let me know what y'all think. I'll be back to wrap things up. Okay, you guys, make sure y'all go on ahead and hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below, or you can hit up the Cash App, dollar sign sack exchange to send any donation to the cash app here are the top donators and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least two dollars or more thank you so yeah uh real quick before i uh, uh end the video let me reveal the poll from friday really nice turnout uh 852 votes for the poll i uh i posted on friday morning basically asking out who was going to win this match and it was 84 percent for jd and layla but shout out to the 16% that, that voted for the Vanity Twins. That's actually a, not a bad percentage for the Vanity Twins. They had a lot of people believing in them uh, for a powerful team like Jaden and Layla. So uh, shout out to y'all. But yeah, to wrap this up, let's see if it is going to be Red Velvet who wins the match. Uh, 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 whenever this match takes place, it should be on the Dynamite for sure. It should not be on Rampage. It should be because it's, it's high profile. Like it should be on one of the next two or three uh, Dynamites coming up. But y'all know I'm going to report it here whenever it happens. So let's see. I, I, I think if they could get some more storyline put in next week, they'd have a match the week after that. We'll see how that goes. Thank y'all for watching. After News Delight.